Most of us know that modern humans originated in Africa and within the past 200,000 years they evolved from their most likely recent common ancestor Homo erectus. There seems to have been a profound difference in cognitive abilities between early Homo sapiens and our immediate predecessors Homo erectus. With the emergence of Homo sapiens we see traces of art, pictography and tool usage and we believe humankind made its first forays into language. These evolved species of Homo sapiens then expanded their range beyond Africa, moving into Asia and Europe along the way. They tracked animals, encountered dung and discovered new plants. However, the great embarrassment to the evolutionary theory is that there is no explanation for how such a major organ like brain was dramatically transformed in complexity in a narrow window of time to create the jump from Homo erectus to Homo sapiens. In the early 1990s, psychedelic advocate and ethnobotanist Terence McKenna published his book Food of the Gods, in which he surmised that Homo sapiens' cognitive leap forward was due to their discovery of magic mushrooms and psilocybin, the psychedelic compound within them. He called this the stoned ape hypothesis. According to McKenna, psilocybin caused the primitive brain's information processing capabilities to rapidly reorganize which in turn kick-started the rapid evolution of cognition that led to the early art, language and technology written in Homo sapiens archaeological record. Many modern users of psychedelics claim the world never looks the same again after such an experience. As McKenna put it, Homo sapiens ate our way to a higher consciousness and it was at this time that religious ritual, calendar making and martial magic came into their own. For many years, many scientists have dismissed these ideas as a story rather than an explanation based on proven facts. There are other researchers who have studied early humanity's use of drug plants but who are skeptical of the hypothesis proposed by McKenna. They consider the idea too simplistic, potentially a reduction of a complex evolutionary process into a single moment. McKenna, who died in 2000, passionately believed in his hypothesis but it was never seriously considered by the scientific community during his lifetime. Now, however, his idea has acquired great attention after we have found evidence in support of his theory. In particular, evidence has been found that Stone Age humans ate mushrooms. German anthropologists discovered mushroom spores on the teeth of prehistoric women who lived around 18,700 years ago. In 2015, the Spanish anthropologist Professor Guerra Doque published a paper outlining the use of hallucinogenic plants by early humans. Additionally, Neolithic and Bronze Cave paintings that resembled psilocybin mushrooms were found in the Italian Alps and in Villa del Humo in Cuenca, Spain. Many incredible findings like these all over the world are suggesting now that perhaps McKenna was right all along. It is finally time to take the Stone Age hypothesis seriously. Doing so requires integrating our advancement in scientific research on psilocybin, recent archaeological discoveries and our understanding of human consciousness and fitting these into our current understanding of human evolution. Today, when we are finally gathering the pieces of human evolution together and trying to make the sense out of it, we consider McKenna's hypothesis as a totally plausible answer to a long-standing evolutionary riddle. Whenever we talk about expansion of human mind and consciousness, we remember his words. I believe that the psychedelic experience was a light at the beginning of the history, that this is actually the thing that we have now reached a sufficient level of analytical sophistication to discern the force that pushed the animal mind onto the human stage. Do subscribe and hit the like button if you liked this video. Don't forget to share your opinion on this theory proposed by McKenna.